the, we are now at the last section of this chapter where we want to look at the plot inside an infinite symmetrical real. What I mean by infinite symmetrical is it's linda that have that is along the axial part it is from minus infinity to infinity but the radial part is R. I know that in spherical coordinates, flux is R Z theta. Right? Since flux is independent of the handle, and we are taking our Z to the infinite, we can knock out the two. That is R job in function of what? R. Hello. Uh, one good definition equation state that the radial part in one dimension for its cylindrical is okay. This is it. So this one now becomes one over r d over d r plus r, no, r d over dr phi plus b squared phi is equal to 0. If you take this one now, if you, 1 over r, d dr will give us 1, d squared phi over dr squared Merit plus no okay okay uh, we we have to hold this and differentiate it so r will still be here yes plus when you differentiate this one plus the phi over the r plus this square phi is equal to zero so this one will be this square phi over the r squared plus one over r the phi over the r plus d square phi is equal to zero. Mm. That is, is uh, since it's in one d, is d square phi over d r squared plus one over r d phi over d r plus d square phi is equal to zero. Okay. This is the division equation in a symmetrical coordinate for one good division equation. Now, we've not seen this one before. Yes. Apart from this one, this, apart from that, the phi must satisfy this equation. It must also satisfy the boundary condition. Apart from that, phi must satisfy. This equation is more also satisfied that phi, which is as r plus d, which is equal to phi r phi, must also equal to what? zero, the boundary condition. Must satisfy, this phi must satisfy this equation and must also satisfy this equation. For it to be so, we have to write this equation to make. Meaning we have to be like d square phi over the half square plus one over half the phi over the half plus b squared plus m squared over r squared phi is equal to zero. This is what well, this equation is what we refer to as the same equation. And it has a general solution which is given as phi is equal to a j naught, which is a function of r, plus c y naught, which is a function of r. J naught is called zero order, is basic or first kind of zero order. Bezel of first kind of zero order.
Why? Why must it come? The Z of second kind of zero order. Okay? This is our general solution. We have to continue to get our particular solution. But to get our particular solution, we have to investigate these two bases. How do they look? We know that something that inside our reactor, the flux will be finite. And second, at the extrapolated distance, the flux must be what? Must be equal to zero value. So we know that any of this equation, when r is less than, when small r is less than or equal to r, our phi will be what? Finite. And as r is equal to r, our phi will be equal to what? zero. This two is very, very important. So the next thing that, let's look at how these two function behaves. If you can get how these two functions behave, we know what to do about the two functions. Let me look at the. Let me just sketch the graph. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, minus 1. This J0 goes like this. This is for what? J0. Why why not goes like this? Now we will discover something. So what? X equals zero. J0 is finite. Wow. Why why not is infinite? So that means why not can never satisfy the equation because at zero the flux must be finite. So because that why not at zero is infinite, we have to cancel this side out. Is the general solution for the flux inside the cylindrical reactor. We know that this flux must satisfy some boundary condition. The first boundary condition is that first at R prime, which is at the edges of the reactor, phi of R must be equal to what? Zero. And second, within the reactor, the phi must be what? finite number. That is, phi can never be infinity and it can never be zero. That is at R less than R. Phi is finite. Okay? Now, here is a graph of Bezier function of first kind of zero order and Bezier function of second kind of zero order. You can see something. If we take the basic function of first kind at x equals zero, you can see that this one. That means it still satisfies what we want here. So we see what that one. Okay? We'll take the second one at this point. Does it satisfy this one? When r is at zero, at r equal to zero, maybe at x equal to zero. You can see that it's what? Tending towards. Asymptotic infinity, so it doesn't satisfy this criteria. That means we have to expunge this function out of the equation. So we are now left with phi of r squared to what? A j naught b r. That's what we are now left with. Now, as also, at extrapolated distance, at the edge of the reactor, 
the flux will also be equal to what? Zero. We go back to the one that we are, we are, we are using. Do you that? The same function is only zero at what? 0 0.2.405. That means at the edge, at the edge, R, small r, will be equal to what? Capital R. Am I right? Am I right? That means at that point, phi of r will not be what? A, J naught, B, R. Am I right? At that point, if it is there, B, R will be equal to 2.405. That means B, R is equal to 2.405. That means B is equal to 2.405 over half. So our final now a j naught 2.405 over r so now remaining for us to calculate the value of k that we are going to get from the operating power of the reactor plus we have our file which is got to a j naught 2.405 r over r our help here is to calculate the value of A. From the operating power of the reactor P, we got to ER EF phi. Uh, the A. Because we are calculating in phi, it doesn't have the other dimension. Yeah. Do you know what that means? That's what we are just looking at. The curve surface area, like one of them. So it's over area, is the A. Now, this one will give us ER, EF, or A, J naught, 2.405 R over half, the A. Our dA will be 2 pi r d half. So now our p is equal to 2 pi er ef a integral. J naught two point four oh five R R D R and this one will be zero to half. Merit. So let's use integration by part here. So, we want to look at the integration of these things. We are using integration by parts. To make the life more better for us, we try to write this thing as 0 r j naught b r r d r. At this point, this one will still be our u and the v, which is equal to u v minus v v u. Our v is still r. Our d v from what we have will be something like over v, 1 over v, j1, b, r, minus integral 1 over v. J1 BR 1 D half. However, when you do this integration, you are going to get zero. 
Okay? So we are left with R over B, J1, BR. Let's evaluate it at this one will be R over B, J1, BR minus because when you put zero it will be zero so we just stop here so we now have r over 2.405 squared j1 2.405 over r over tensor which is just over 2.405 so we now so we have gotten all this one now to be r squared over 2.405 j1 2.405 let's now multiply with this one so half now so let me clean up for you to see we now have p is equal to 2 pi E R E F A R squared over 2.405 J1 2.405 which is now 2.405 P over 2 pi E R E F R squared J1 2.405. So the entire flux will now be phi of R is equal to 2.405 P over 2 pi E R E F R squared J1 2.405. J not 2.405 over R R is 